everybody, it's Maddie reporting for Coaster Kids. Hey everybody, and today, it's Eliza reporting for Coaster Kids from Six Flags Great Adventure. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is my home park. I'm filming a Coaster Kids video. So am I. Oh. We can do it together. That might work. Hey, hey everybody, it's Maddie and Eliza reporting, reporting for Coaster, Coaster Kids, Kids from Six Flags Great Adventure. This is my home park, and this is Eliza's first time here. Yeah, so uh, she's sort of going to show me around. She knows the ins and outs of the park. I've never even been to a Six Flags park before, but they have some great coasters here, so I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, so we're about to get on Cyborg Cyberspin. This is their new for 2018 ride. Um, what do you think it's going to be like? I don't have high hopes. It looks interesting to say the least. Yeah, this seems like something that I would get sick on and I never get sick on rides. I'm honestly not very excited, but I mean we're just going to try it. Let's go. Cyborg Cyber Spin, and I'm gonna give it a zero screams. It was not fun, I'd say skip it. Yeah. Zero screams as well. It had no thrill at all. It just sort of made you dizzy and confused. It, I would say if you come to this park, you, you don't need to do this ride. Just, just pass. Uh, we're gonna go ride Battle for Metropolis now. Uh, let's go. <laughs> So we just got off of um, Metal for Metropolis, a dark shooting ride, and I'd give it probably about a three and a half screams. It's actually pretty good, but it makes me a little bit sick. Yeah, um, so that was my first time riding that, and I think I would give it a three and a half screams. The theming was phenomenal, and maybe it's just decent, but I'm from Cedar Point where there's like no theming. So I would say I like the storyline. It did make me feel a little sick, but overall it's a really good ride. So we're about to go on the dark night. Pretty excited for this ride. Let's go. Okay, so we just got off of Batman, the dark night, and that was definitely the best wild mouse I've ever been on. I thought the dark, uh, it made it a lot better. The trims were not like very like sudden. That was good, and it had good theming. I would give that three screams. Not thrilling, but I mean, fun. I give it 3.25 screams. So we're gonna go ride Nitro of b and Hyper. This is personally one of my favorite coasters and it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, so we just rode Nitro. Um, that was a and m Hyper coaster and I thought it was really good. I got some good air time on that. Probably the best BNM no. Piper I've been on. Um, I would rate it four screens. I'd rate it four and a half screens. One of my personal favorites and a really good ride. Yeah, that last helix was good. So we're gonna go get on Batman the Ride. It's a BNM invert. It's a clone. A lot of perks have them. Yeah. Um, uh, I've never been on a Batman the Ride before, but I love being them in Brits, so we'll see how I feel about this one. So, we just went on the ride, <laughs> Batman the Ride, and we went back row. We tried to go on this several times, but it kept going down, and you said it really never goes down. It really doesn't ever break down. It's one of the last rides standing, you know. King Ka and El Toro are done, this one's up and running, so I don't know what was happening. 
but we finally got on it, back row, and it was super intense. It was really good. I'd give it a four screams. Yeah, it was uh, a lot smoother than I was expecting it to be. I think I would give it a four screams too. A really good experience. Got really got whipped around the immersions. It's really good. Kitty coaster. Kitty coaster. It's a credit. Yep, but it's a credit, and I'm here, so should we ride back row, front row? Thank you. Back row is most intense, but like. sort of crazy lines today. It's pretty busy today, but we're excited for this coaster and it's our flash pass time, so let's go. sort of, um, it just kept going. It was fast paced, so um, yeah, four screams as well. We just rode Runaway Mine Train, and that was an aerodynamics mine train. Not good. The trims, okay, the trims were horrible, okay, it was very sudden. Super jerky, one scream. Yeah, I mean, this ride is really hit and miss depending on your car ride. It could have been worse, could have been better. Again, I'd agree with Eliza, it's one scream. Skip it if you can. Yeah. So we're about to go get on El Toro, a Intamin prefabricated wooden coaster. And honestly, this is one of my favorite coasters, probably number one on my list. It's intense and smooth and amazing. Okay, I am 
so excited for this. I have wanted to ride El Toro for such a long time, and when I came to this park, this was my number one thing that I wanted to ride. I'm sure it's gonna be my favorite wooden coaster, and I cannot believe that I'm like finally riding it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so we just got out of El Toro and I am shook. That was so good. Definitely the best. Definitely the best wooden coaster I've ever been on. It's um, definitely an amazing drop, incredible airtime. I would rate that a five plus screen. So good, definitely my favorite ride in the park today. I would also rate it a five plus screen. So Eliza here thought it would be a great <laughs> idea on her first ride on it to go back around. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't regret it. It was, it was a tiny bit rough, obviously, because it was back row, but it was the airtime. It's crazy. It's insane. insane. It was so good. But we're actually gonna go get on it again. Yeah, got it. King of Ka, and it's a really good ride. The lunch is really intense and fast, and overall, I'm gonna give it a four screen. Really good. Uh, so, my home park is Cedar Point, and it's very similar to Topfield Dragster. You don't really notice the height difference or the speed difference. Um, I sort of actually liked that on Topfield Dragster, you get uh, the traffic lights as a warning as to when it's gonna go even though they go fast I sort of like not really knowing when you're gonna go I thought that was cool um, as for how it is uh, also different from Top Dragster, Jack Sir, um, it's a little bit rough so it's different I don't know if I like Top Dragster Jackster more or this more I it's pretty much the same I guess because it's a little rough for Top Dragster, Jack Sir, but there isn't really much difference so I would give it a five plus six Okay, so we're about to go on Zumanjaro Drop of Doom. Um, uh, it's the world's tallest drop tower, so pretty excited. One of my favorite it's one of my favorite rides here at the park. Uh, I'm not a huge drop tower person, but I mean, I ride them. I like them. Definitely not as good as coasters, but this this one is pretty tall, so this is pretty exciting. Let's see how it goes. got off of uh, Zoom and Jaro, Drop of Doom, and personally it's one of my favorite uh, rides. It's fun, it's intense, it's fast. I'm gonna give it five screams. I love this a lot. So that was definitely one of the best drop towers I've ever ridden. Um, I thought it was really good. It was less intense than I was expecting it to be. The only really scary part was the height. Honestly, I would give it three screams. Really good drop tower. Just, I, I, I don't know, because it wasn't a ton of thrill. Not as much as I was expecting. Uh, we only have two more coasters in the park that we have to do, but we're really tired. We pretty much have packed like everything in today. Um, yeah. yeah, so um, I'd rate that a 1.5 scream on Green Lantern. Me too. Uh, my head at one point was ricocheting back and forth for like 30 seconds, and that really hurt. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Okay, so let me tell you about this ride. <laughs> this ride is really, it's so long, it's so long, which would be great if it was a good ride, <laughs> but I don't want it to be long, because I just went on that for the credit, I, would, I, I don't think I ever want to go on that again. The head banging was bad, the trims were not great, it was really awkward because you're not really standing, but you're not really sitting, but they make you stand so you're sort of just like locking your knees, I would give that a 1.5 screams. It was rough. I guess it was sort of intense, but you, you, you couldn't really notice it. My feet hurt. Same. <laughs> so 
So we just rode Superman Ultimate Flight at the VNM uh, Flyer Coaster. And it's okay, not my favorite, not my least favorite. I'm gonna give it 3.5 screams. Um, I would agree with the 3.5 screams. It was a really interesting experience, my first VNM Flyer. Um, I've been on Firehawk at Kings Island, the Flying Dutchman, which was, you know, okay, not all that good. But I definitely like VNM Flyers a lot better. A uh, super interesting experience. It wasn't that intense, but I would rate it 3.5 screams. We just got off of Joker, and um, I would say that's definitely a ride where I can see it's a personal opinion. It's very different, so it's something that some people like and some people hate. Also, it's a ride where it sort of depends on the weight distribution. You can get a good ride or a bad ride, but personally, on that ride that I just got, I loved it. I thought I liked the um, free spin aspect of it. It was so different than anything I've ever ridden. I would give it five screams. It was really thrilling. Uh, thrilling. Uh, I've been on this ride a whole bunch of times, and I have to say that was more intense than other times. The spin was definitely going, and yeah, I'd probably give it a four screams. Not my favorite, but always a fun ride. So that wraps up our day here at Six Flags Root Adventure. This is my home park and I can honestly say it's one of the best days I've ever had here. It was tons of fun hanging out with Eliza, riding all the coasters, and again, just an amazing day. Any highlights for you? Definitely uh, the Joker. That was great. I was super pleasantly surprised. Um, and also, obviously, El Toro. That was it's always amazing. amazing. Um, and hanging out with you, you were great. She was an uh, amazing guide. She like knew all the shortcuts and stuff. So it's definitely more efficient having her here. And thank you so much for coming out. No problem. Also fun hanging out with her, obviously. It was fun um, hanging out with you, too. <laughs> And we shoved a lot in in sort of a short period of time. Uh, we got all the credits, rode all the coasters, so it was awesome. A super fun day. Reporting from Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey, this is Eliza and Maddie. And remember to be brave and ride on. Catch you later. <laughs>